What's up, guys? My name is Wesley Marsh. I'm here with Cinevino. It's Black History Month right now, a time when we come together to celebrate the accomplishments and influence that Black Americans have had on our country throughout its history. So in the spirit of celebration, today we're going to talk about the contributions of Black filmmakers all the way back to some of cinema's earliest pioneers to the award-winning directors of today. Hollywood as we know it began 100 years ago when the classic film studios opened up in Southern California. The earliest Black filmmakers made movies in response to the racial stereotypes dominant at the time and striving to show African Americans in a positive light and due to the fact that Hollywood mostly only made movies for white audiences, each generation of filmmakers inspired those who came after to push the boundaries of the industry even further. The film industry was in its earliest stages at the start of the 20th century, but African Americans weren't allowed to participate because of the discrimination of the era. It took decades for African Americans to break into top positions in Hollywood. Enter Oscar Michaud. Hailed as the first Black major filmmaker, in Michaud's early life, he held numerous jobs working in urban Chicago and then later as a rancher in South Dakota. These experiences gave him a unique perspective on the troubles facing African Americans at the time. And after publishing his first novel in 1913, titled The Conquest, The Story of a Negro Pioneer, Michelle was contacted by a film production company in Los Angeles. However, the negotiations didn't go very far. You see, Michelle wanted to be directly involved with the film's production, but the company wasn't inclined to agree. So in response, Oscar Michelle started his own film production company and released his first film in 1919, titled The Homesteader. The silent film depicts the story of a marriage between a black man and woman, despite the husband being in love with a white woman. The film was praised by critics and Michaud followed up with the second film within our gates the very next year. Michaud used all black cast in his films, touching on heavy topics like lynching, poverty, and mob violence. Releasing 42 feature films between 1919 and 1941, Oscar Michaud was a true pioneer and visionary. One of Michaud's contemporaries was Maria P. Williams, a little known woman regarded as the first female African-American film producer she, along with her husband, Jesse, ran the Western Film Production Company, which produced her first and only feature film, the 1923 Flames of Wrath, of which she also wrote and starred in. Although no copy survived, the movie was described as a five-reel mystery. The couple's production company was able to show the movie in Black theaters all across the southeastern U.S., and Williams herself was mysteriously shot in 1932, with the crime never having been solved. Another early film pioneer was Noble Johnson, who began his career during the silent film era. Standing at six foot two and 215 pounds, Johnson brought an impressive presence to the screen, acting in numerous roles, playing characters of all races. In 1916, Noble and his younger brother, George, established the Lincoln Motion Picture Company. The studio became the birthplace of the race film genre, movies made by and for black audiences. The first movie the studio produced was titled the realization of a Negro's ambition. Johnson kept the studio alive by funding it with his acting checks, but by 1922, the studio was forced to close and Johnson turned to acting full time. Over a career spanning several decades, Johnson appeared in over a hundred films, including many iconic ones such as The Thief of Baghdad, The Ten Commandments, and the original King Kong and the Mummy. Over the decades, many more prominent Black directors and actors rose to fame as the industry began to diversify. One director, Gordon Parks, rose to fame first as a photographer with Life magazine before branching into filmmaking. He created Shaft, which inspired the Black exploitation genre. The genre used imagery of drugs, sex, and violence to create heavily stylized films with Black actors and actresses in starring lead roles. While the movies were criticized for their vulgarity, Black communities found them very entertaining, as was unheard of at the time to see movies with Black-dominated casts. Spike Lee continued this tradition, rising to fame in the mid-1980s with his films that explored race relations in urban communities, specifically topics like colorism and police violence. Spike has released the movie almost every year since 1986, and Lee's films are some of the most recognizable by Black audiences, movies like Do the Right Thing and Malcolm X. Another prominent director of this era was John Singleton. He depicted many films depicting gang violence in urban America. Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, and Poetic Justice are all considered classic films within the Black community. 
Another famous director was F. Gary Gray, who originally got his start directing music videos like Ice Cube's classic, It Was a Good Day, and Outcast, Sorry Miss Jackson. Gray later went on to direct great films like Friday, Set It Off, and the critically acclaimed Straight Outta Compton. In the modern era, numerous Black filmmakers have been able to vault themselves into the upper tier of Hollywood. Tyler Perry made a name for himself off adapting his stage plays for the screen and built a massive media empire off his signature brand of storytelling. Perry was recently named a billionaire in 2021 and continues to operate his own major production studio in Georgia. In 2013, Steve McQueen became the first Black filmmaker to win the Oscar for Best Picture with his critically acclaimed film, 12 Years a Slave. Just three years after that, Barry Jenkins became only the second Black director to win the award with his groundbreaking film, Moonlight. Some of the most familiar names to Black audiences today are Ryan Coogler and Ava DuVernay. Coogler broke out with the tragic story of Oscar Grant in Fruitvale Station and became a household name helming the Creed franchise, a spinoff of the classic Rocky films. He then brought the African superhero Black Panther to the big screen, and the movie went on to gross over a billion dollars worldwide. Ava DuVernay, in comparison, has mostly made her name through television. Her 2017 documentary feature, 13th, earned her an Oscar nomination. Her Netflix limited series, When They See Us, earned 16 Emmy nominations. And in 2020, DuVernay was named to the director's board of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. But the name getting the most buzz right now is surely Jordan Peele. After branching out from the sketch comedy show, Key and Peele, in 2017, he released Get Out, a refreshing take on the horror genre. Taking cues from the Black experience, the film follows the story of a Black man visiting the family of his white girlfriend for a dinner party, where he quickly learns there's more to this family than meets the eye. The movie earned four Oscar nominations, taking home the award for Best Screenplay. He followed it up with the critically acclaimed film Us, and very recently even dropped the trailer for his third feature film, Nope. Outside of directing, Peel has kept busy producing shows like Lovecraft County, Twilight Zone, and movies like Candyman. Hollywood is an integral part of America's culture, and African Americans in turn have also played an integral role in the culture of America. So it only made sense that African Americans wouldn't stand by when the film industry got started, and it's due to the contributions of those early film pioneers and directors that has allowed for the diversification of Hollywood today, and the great wealth of stories that have come from Black minds. February is a time to celebrate those Black voices, and by doing so, we can continually honor their legacy for generations to come. My name is Wesley Marsh. Thank you for watching, and keep it locked here with Cinevino for more exciting film content to come.